Well, hello everyone, and welcome back here to Plants vs. Zombies. We are back here uh, looking at the pool. Let's just go to the shop quickly. Uh, we still have a garden rake, so that will give us a, a bit of an advantage at the start. The new monster, the Dolphin Rider Zombie, who, as you can imagine, rides dolphins, which makes them very, very fast. So this time round we shall use the lily pad, we'll use the sunflower and the pea shooter as our basic troops, defend with the walnut, we'll take the tangle kelp because it's a, a very useful one shot item in the paws, we'll take the cherry bomb and squash for defense, and finally what should we take? Always the hard one, the last choice. Let's take Chomp. We haven't given him an airing in a while. Let's rock. Oh, get some of these out. Just do our usual two blocks of four sunflowers. That should give us enough light for the level. So get these two out. There we go. Brilliant. Clicks on the wrong one. Click slightly to right there. That's if you're wondering what that sound was. It's the game telling me off. Okay, so we get one or more of these out, and now let's save up for a pea shooter. Don't need to shoot this guy because that. <laughs> Blends. Hello. Right, we shall pop you there, and you can start taking him out. All right, so that gives us some light. Let's get a full sunflower out. And now save up, get ourselves a hundred sunlight. Oh, we don't need to. Let's get another sun, a sun power out. There we go. There we go. It's always nice when they come down the same line. Gives us a chance to work on production rather than just creating um, defenses. There we go. There you are. Right, there we go. I've been saving that one for you. And now we immediately need another one, which we'll get very, very soon. Go. Brilliant. Okay, so get another sunflower out there. And our last piece shooter. This is brilliant. So let's start thinking about our pool defenses. So we'll pop down a lily pad like that. And stick a pea shooter on it. Balance it out, we'll pop that there. We should start getting some different monsters. Here we go. That's what I've been waiting for. Okay, that's that one. And get another pea shooter there. That's the basic defenses in the water. He's not gonna last very long, I'm not worried about him. Nice. And the second pea shooter there. In fact, let's pop you there. Just to be on the safe side. Okay. He's going to be a problem, so let's get a second pea shooter there. And in fact, just to be on the safe side, let's pop that there. I realise I put him in the wrong place because I want to put some chomps out. So let's do that next. There we go. That's that last one there. And we'll blow up one side. Which side should we blow up? We should blow up this side, I think. Friends. I got asked the other day why I tend to hoard up a lot of sunlight in the end game. You know, I've got defenses down there, just let things carry on the way they are, and there's a couple of reasons for it. Uh, the first one is, yeah, if I've stopped putting defenses down, I'm comfortable with the fact that my defenses are good enough, which is a nice feeling. 
the second reason is if I've got a pool of uh, of sunlight here, I can then start laying down some defenses, you know, putting down some cherry bombs and squashes and things like that, if I'm starting to get a bit worried about what my plants are encountering. Plus, it's nice to have a nice score here, which says, you know, I've just been so skillful, I've just rushed through this level. Aren't I good? So, a couple of reasons for it. So, let's get a few of these chops out. And we'll put some, a layer of all nights in front of them. I do like chop. Chop is fun. Not as, is it not as amusing to me as squash, but I do like chop. Right, let's get one there. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I meant to put that one up, but never mind. Let's clear that out, put a chop there. Let's get some water bomb chomps as well. Another line of defense. Probably going to help a lot with this uh, dolphins. But uh, this is a really bad final wave, which I'm not expecting at this point of the game. But we've probably got this covered now. reassures me after the last level because quite frankly I didn't do a stellar job with the mini game I think uh, ended up using too many lawn mowers which costs money and money what does money mean money means we can buy things from the shop from crazy day and what's wrong with that okay let's get that down there though I've got to be honest with you these zombies just aren't getting this far this time around which is I think a good sign a nice little pool of, of resources. I think we're going to get a last walnut down here. Yep. And it all goes quiet before the final wave. Um. So, well, this side isn't, the defences aren't quite finished, so let's blow up here. Like that. That'll do. Okay, we lose our kelp, but that's what the kelp is for. Let's stick another one down there. And just because he hasn't had any exercise. There we go. Right, just wait for these guys to get mopped up. And I think we are done. Whenever you're ready, thank you very much. Tall nut. Heavy duty walnut that can't be vaulted over. So perhaps we'll use that one next level. Until then, thank you and good night.